Cyber Psycho Production Rocks! Ah! This is Sharpie Psycho Productions, and we are doing my Twilight segment finally. But first of all, all the Sharpie markings, because I promised there would be some. And yes, I'm going to show them off at the very beginning of each podcast. So, so far we have Christmas tree, because I'm feeling very in the holiday spirit, in case you could notice. Vamp on the forehead, roar on the side of the cheeks, and of course the bite me thing. And yes, here's the bracelet I didn't get to show off last broadcast, so yeah, I love it to death. Yay. Anyway, um, yes, feeling very oddly festive, but since that's over, I didn't show you. I've got fangs, too. <laughs> anyway, so, that's not messing around. This is the Twilight podcast. Um, there's really not much to say right now, because I didn't actually plan this out too well. Anyway, so, um, when I first heard the words mental shield in, I think it was the second book, third book, something like that, um, it just kind of stuck out to me. So, while everyone was guessing, oh, she's still going to be human, she's still going to have all this self-control, blah, 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 it's going to be her special power, yes, I've read the fourth book, I found out I was right when I read the fourth book. She has a mental shield. She is a shield. I totally got it, and I'm so happy. And you know, everyone's like, oh no, that's too Yoda for the series. I'm like, catch me when you find out. And what? 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 I was right. Anyway. So, um, yeah. Books, great. First book. Loved it, could not put it down. I actually gave it to my dad to borrow because he's going to read it now. Along with the first book of the Midnighter series. Another great series for you Twilight fans. Lovely, lovely series. Need books? Come to me. I love books. Good series. Anyway. Um, second book mm, was kind of sad but since I don't favor either of them. Though, you know, I'm glad Edward got it because, you know, he's Edward. Um, I'm not on Team Jacob. Just a little info. I'm not on Team Jacob or Team Edward. I'm on Team Switzerland and Team Jane because all we have to do is smile. Anyway. <laughs> um, Stephanie Meyer herself suggested that you read New Moon twice. Particularly if you're an Edward fan girl. This is my own little addition. Read it three times for Edward Fandrath. There's a lot that you guys miss of Jacob. Jacob is wonderful. He's sweet. He's kind. He really cares about Bella. And y'all miss it because you're so freaked out. You're like, oh my god, Edward's gone, whatever. Sorry, bit OCD there. But yeah, read it more than once. You will not. You will not regret it. Also, for those who are looking for a Jane description, I know a lot of people are like, oh, she has long blonde hair, oh, she has short black hair, oh, she has long black hair, blah, 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 blah. No, she has, well, basically my hair. Short, brown, lanky. Yeah, I found it in the new moon description. Finally, it was like a paragraph or two, but I was so glad to find it because I adore Jane. Anyway. Um, so yeah, third book. Third book, my favorite of the series, but only because the fourth ends it. <laughs> um, love it, 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 love it. Fifth, fourth book, excuse me. Great, 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 but why did it have to end? For those of you who are interested in it not ending, I am creating a fanfic. It is... Hopefully, the, my journal that I wrote it in is going to be found soon. As soon as it is, I'm typing it up, and I'm posting it probably on my MySpace, which I will put in the links one of these two sides. I think it's this side. No, this side. I think it's this side. 
right there. Click it. Click it. Anyway, just you know, whatever. You have to add me as a friend because I have it on private. But you know. anyway, <laughs> um, fifth book is going to be amazing, amazing, amazing. Stephanie Meyer put her draft up on her site, which I again I put the link to over here. And, uh, yeah, it's a really great read. Again, it's only a draft, so, you know, it might not be, like, uh, the best. But it's a really good read. I haven't quite finished it. I'm, like, on a page 170-something out of 270-something. So, yeah, I'll have to finish that sometime when I'm not so crazy hectic. Blah. Anyway. Uh, movie. Oh, my gosh. Since, I'm not gonna, since I don't have enough time to give you two hours of not says I'm going to tell you what I hated and what I liked. Main points, anyway. Hated that they deleted the blood biology lab scene thing. That was a major point in the story. I, I did not like that they erased that. Didn't like any of the actors except Alice. And Halfway Bella and Victoria. That they were okay. But Alice, so glad they nailed her. And Alice was like the only one I was perfectly happy with except when she literally danced around the uh, lunchroom. No. Uh, she did not meet Vanessa and Mike, or Jessica and Mike, excuse me, I have a lot of names to remember right now. Jessica and Mike where she was supposed to and she met him at the same time. And what was up with that nerdy kid, I forget his name because he was only in the first book, um, Eric I think. Why was he Asian? He wasn't Asian in the book, as far as I remember. Anyway. Emmett didn't have hair. Jasper felt weak. When I saw the t-shirt, no lie, I first saw the t-shirt, I walked up to it, I grabbed it like this. I'm like, which one is which? I literally thought they'd got them mixed up. I thought Emmett was Jasper and Jasper was Emmett. I'm so mad because they ruined like the third book. Because the entire reason, well, <laughs> no spoilers. But, you know, it kind of ruins, ruins Rosalie's reason for uh, having him changed in the first place. Mm -hmm. Anyway, quick edit in here. I did not get to my likes. I adored the baseball scene. That was about the only thing I enjoyed, besides Alice. Yeah, that was it. I do not expect much from the upcoming movies. I don't. And if they completely wreck Jane too, I'm gonna I'm not gonna watch the rest of them. I'm just I'm done. I'm giving them grace on this one enough. I mean, just it's just horrible. I mean, in my opinion, I, I'm a, I'm a total fan for the books, but the movie is just horrible. He didn't even glitter. He like where there was waves across his body or something. They would have done better without CGI effects. They would have done better with body glitter. It was like waves. I'm like, is he? Is he glittering? He wasn't glittering. He was. There was ripples across his body. No. And he's he's not even Edward. Plus he's a terrible singer. Check it out on the freaking soundtrack. I have the soundtrack. I bought it the first day. Wonderful soundtrack. I love the soundtrack. Movie stunk. He's a horrible singer. He's got a song on there. It's okay, but he, he he's a horrible singer. The first minute of it is like music anyway. It's okay just because of that. Well, uh, since I'm running out of time, I better finish this up real quick. Uh, thank you all who are viewing this and all who are sticking by me um, through the AMV crisis. Again, thanks. Um, and, uh, yeah. I guess I'll continue this sometime else with my Jane costume on, hopefully next time. Um, if I can find it. Yeah, it kind of disappeared. Oh, anyone going to NakaCon? I might go with Jane. Maybe, possibly. I'm running out of time. I'm gonna go. I will talk to you. I will see you all sometime in the future.